hello guys this is your modern day spokesman and welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button um now we are also available on twitter you can follow us at genie accounting today we are going to be looking at group reporting so basically the point of this tutorial is to show you how to general generalize a consolidated uh, journal for intergroup transactions so we're going to be looking at inventory on this particular example so in this example uh, p the parent sells inventory to its wholly owned subsidiary do take note however that parent ltd is the actual parent or owner and subsidiary and subsidiary ltd is an actual subsidiary which is the one buying inventory from the parent in this uh, group transaction so in our example here uh, during the 2018 financial year parent ltd sold inventory to subsidiary ltd at a profit of 25 percent on the cost of inventory on 31 december 2018 which is our year end meaning our year runs from 1 january to 31 january 2018 a uh, subsidiary LTD had an inventory on hand valued at 300,000 which was bought from parent LTD. Now for this example we are going to assume that our tax rate uh, is at 28%. So this is how we go about with the actual consolidation for the pro forma journals, right? Uh, we have to date it 31 December 2018. So we are going to debit our cost of sales uh, by 60,000 and credit the inventory by 60,000. So now uh, the transaction is also subject to tax which is uh, 16,800 and the income tax expense we credit to 16,800. So now this is how the calculations came about for the 60,000. Remember that the parent is the one which is making the unrealized profit. So the cost of sales is debited on the profit of or loss statement of the parents at 60,000. The 60,000 is the actual unrealized profit, the 300,000 multiplied by 25 over 125 is a calculation which enables us to eliminate the unrealized profit. Now, the inventory on the other side is going to be credited to the statement of financial position of the subsidiary right so remember that uh inventory increases on the debit side so when we credit inventory with sixty thousand, we're actually removing that unrealized uh profit on the sale on the on the sale of the inventory the subsidiary because you cannot make a sale you cannot make a profit when you sell to yourself remember the group is a single entity never mind it having a subsidiary but it is a single entity so you cannot make profit when you're selling to yourself however the transaction is subjected to a tax so this is how we we, we did assume earlier that our tax is 28 percent so we have to tax at the unrealized profit which is 16,800 where we debit our deferred tax and we credit our our income tax expense with the same amount of 16,800 so now this is known as an elimination of unrealized profit in the opening inventory of the subsidiary it's unrealized profit since the transaction occurred within the group like i said earlier you cannot make profit when you sell to yourself the profit would have been realized profit if it was sold outside the group that's when the profit would have been realized Uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to follow us on twitter at genie accounting and uh, if you've not hit the subscribe button please give it a click there and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like the video so that you don't miss out on any future uh, content and now if you also have any tutorial support inquiries don't hesitate to contact us on the email provided there on the screen uh, see you on the next video guys Nah.